What's going on guys? It's Horse Beef here and I'm bringing you the coldest moments in UFC history and I'm going to rank them accordingly. So let's just get into it here. First off, we have Cody Garbrandt versus Dominic Cruz. There's no denying that this one deserves to be at the very top. I mean, the the whole build up to the fight, Dominic Cruz was uh, eviscerating Cody Garbrandt with words, making him emotional, getting him pissed off, you know, getting Cody Garbrandt to the point where he wanted to uh, to fight Dominic Cruz before they stepped in the octagon. So I guess the the assumption was that Cody Garbrandt would go uh, into that fight emotional and fight like shit. Turns out he showed up as the best version that we've ever seen of him and one of the best versions of any fighters we've ever seen in the octagon. That performance right there is legendary. And it's one of the greatest uh, performances I think anyone's ever put on inside the octagon. So I would say Cody Garbrandt's styling on Dominic Cruz, taunting him throughout, dodging all of his punches, like really giving Dominic Cruz a Dominic Cruz treatment, it was hilarious and amazing to watch. So that is a top, top tier moment. Lyoto Machida front kicking a TRT Belfort in the face and then bowing to his corpse. I love that. That has to go in A tier. It's just so badass. Uh, Nate Diaz versus Tony Ferguson, the 209 choke. Uh, it's it's more of a coincidence than anything. Like, did, did Nate Diaz mean to choke out Tony Ferguson at that exact time, right, at 209? No, he did not. Um, but it's cool, I guess. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna put it in C tier. I don't. I don't care too much for it. It's. It's. It's a. A wild coincidence of anything. Volkanovski surviving Brian Ortega's submission attempts, and then beating the ever living shit out of him. What's well, pretty cool, isn't it? I'm gonna put that in B tier because it was really the only moment that Brian Ortega had throughout that whole fight. So I will put that in B tier. Because it was pretty badass of Volkanovski to fight those submissions off. Uh, Khabib versus Conor McGregor. Let's talk now. Let's talk now. Is it cool? Yeah. Um, do I like Khabib? No, not necessarily. Do I think he's overrated? Yes. But is that moment deserved for Conor McGregor? Ultimately, yes, it is. Um, he did end up winning the fight too. I'm gonna put that in A tier, honestly, from Khabib. But it was, it was, it was cool. I don't have to like Khabib to to admit that it was badass. Leon Edwards. I mean, like, really, the whole moment. Right, the knockout, the post-fight speech, all of it really. Um, I I would be lying if I said I didn't rewatch that moment a bunch of times, despite not even being a Leon Edwards fan. You know what I'm saying? So it is that great of a moment. I'm gonna put that in S tier. Uh, Kyle Bochniak walking forward and eating Zabit's punches, sticking his tongue out, and is acting like a general madman. Was it cool to watch? Yes, it was. He still lost the fight and was still getting peppered throughout the exchange at the end. Um, but yeah, he got he got beat up by Zabit at the end of the day, and it was just a good moment to to end the fight like a warrior. But ultimately, didn't really achieve a lot. I'm gonna put that in D tier. I love this moment right here, the stare down in the middle of the octagon between JDS and Cain Velasquez. Before I think that was their third fight. Um, JDS does get obliterated in this one though. It's one of the one of the worst beat towns I've witnessed personally inside the octagon. So was the moment cool? Yes, for JDS. It ends up being a cooler moment for Velasquez who stands his ground in that moment because he ends up winning the fight. But their trilogy is so legendary and this face-off right here is such an iconic moment. I'm going to put it in B tier. Uh, Mark Hunt and his walk-off KOs, I'm just going to put that in S tier, right? I mean, so many fighters have tried to replicate that, right? Sean O'Malley's tried it. Um, Jalen Turner tried it against Moicano. No one really does it like Mark Hunt. So Mark Hunt, I think walk-off KOs. I would say the Frank Mir one is my personal favorite because 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 he, he makes that like, cringe face right after uh, knocking him out like oh shit, this man got hurt. Um, yeah, for sure. Randy Couture versus Tim Sylvia. I, we might have to have another uh, top tier pick right here. Comes out of retirement, at the age of forty three, and beats a gargantuan heavyweight in Tim Sylvia for that title. Come on now, dropping him, hurting him, and just generally dominating him and beating him from pillar to post in that fight it has to go up here and wow this this top tier is already filled up way too much honestly we're gonna have a lot of uh top tier picks here because ultimately this shit's subjective and these are some pretty awesome moments in their own right they're all sick moments but some of them are just too iconic to not put at the very top uh nate diaz with the the double middle fingers while winning via triangle choke pretty badass pretty badass right Surely it has to go in A tier, considering he 
he was so sure that he was going to win that fight and his opponent was going to tap. He starts flipping off uh, the crowd or whoever's watching. Pretty awesome. Hamzat Shemaya versus Gilbert Burns. I mean, he's just sitting on a cage. I with, with Darren Tell, I guess. So it's it's a pretty cool image because they were like best buds at the time, training together. Um, realistically, Hamzat just sat on top of uh, the cage, looked chill, and then ended up going to war with Gilbert Burns, which is pretty badass. Um, I don't know. He, he he's just sitting on a fence, really. So D tier for that one. I'm not impressed by a man sitting on a fence. You know, believe it or not, I could do it too. We all could do it. So there we go. Uh, Alex Pereira versus Jamal Hill emoting on him after knocking him out like that just after stopping Herb Dean in his tracks after getting kicked in the uh, the pecker come on the whole moment was just so cool and then to emote on Jamal Hill like that yeah come on now come on it has to be up there uh John Jones dropping the Oda Machida's corpse on the ground and walking away like a stone cold assassin Oh my god, okay, this this top tier is going to be absolutely flooded by the end of this because some of these moments are just too cool, right? Um, yeah, that that moment is incredible. Tony Ferguson, I think it was before the second round against Pettis after getting dropped by him, uh, just covered in blood and smiling, jumping up and down. I remember watching this one live and I just started laughing my head off. It was so cool. It's just really a moment. It is a pretty daunting image as well, just knowing what happens to Pettis after this moment right here. You could tell that that, that was El Kukui being unleashed but i'm going to put that in c tier it is it is pretty cool um israel adesanya putting three arrows in alex Pereira after knocking him out for the first time you listen to me right now i'm not a fan of adesanya so this will factor into my placement of this uh is it a great knockout in its own right yes it is is that moment cool i mean i guess for izzy fans it's, it's pretty cathartic, I suppose, if you've been waiting for Izzy to finally get that win over Pereira. But ultimately, one win over Pereira and then talking like you've like you've won the series because of one KO. In my opinion, avoiding another Pereira fight has only made this moment less and less badass as time has gone on. I'm putting it in D tier. Not a huge fan. Not impressed. Israel Adesanya. Max Holloway teaching Brian Ortega to block uh shots <laughs> mid fight <laughs> while he's setting a strikes record on his face pretty cool man it's 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 pretty badass uh i'll, I'll have to put this probably in a tier it's up there man i like that moment quite a bit uh jared cannonier walking down Ian kutalaba with his hands down i think this was at 205 so yeah doing that against a 205er is pretty ballsy um i don't know he, if if he ended up KOing Kutalaba with something in those final moments. This this would have been up here, but ultimately he's just walking forward with his hands down. Cool, I I, I suppose D tier for that one. Uh, Max Holloway, I'm the best boxer in the UFC, baby. Um, yeah, is there any other place to put it? I don't think there is. That whole moment is incredible. Beating the shit out of Calvin Cater, dropping his hands, still avoiding all of uh, Cater's shots coming at him. Uh, while talking shit so yeah i can't deny that one deserves to be at the very top and read this inspires cringeworthy edits you tell me that any of these moments at the top here did not inspire some cringeworthy edits and i will call you a liar um luke rockhold's fuck you punch against paulo costa you might disagree but this is one of my favorite moments of all time within the octagon within one of the weirdest fights i think any of us have ever witnessed this fight made no sense luke rockhold is is looking like he wants to give up after every shot that he takes there there's just so much malice in in that moment from luke rockhold you could tell he was just pissed off because his nose was busted and he couldn't breathe because the altitude and then he, you can tell he was just fed up with getting beat up. And then, um, yeah, screams, fuck you. Lands a big left overhand and stuns Paulo Costa with it. That That's one of my personal favorite moments. If you disagree, I don't care. Come at me. Uh, Nate Diaz, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. Uh, this is up there too, man. I'm gonna put this in A tier. Just because it's words, you know? It's just, it's just words at the end of the day. But I love the moment, so I'm going to put that in A tier. Uh, does this require much? Does this require a lot of explanation? Does this require a lot of explanation? Does it really? Points to the ground in the last 10 seconds of a BMF title fight after dominating Justin Gaethje for about 24 minutes and, uh, and 50 seconds. Gives Justin Gaethje a chance to get back in that fight and get a last second KO and then gets the literal last second KO himself with the right overhand. One of the greatest moments in the history of MMA. Uh, Hamza Chimaev 
picking up Li Jing Liang and <laughs> dragging him over to Dana White while talking and casually lifting a grown dude. This this for me is up here, a tier at least for this one from Hamzat Shemaev. What a moment from him! I I bought into the hype at that moment and then it died off uh, after he fought uh, Burns and um, and Usman and Gas after the first round. But in the first round, this is the kind of shit that Shemaev is capable of. Seriously. Uh, Anderson Silva styling on Forrest Griffin. I'm going to put this in the very, very top because, of course, it has to be there. Uh, Sean Strickland talking absolute shit, whatever he was saying. It just it was just pure animalism coming from Sean Strickland. You could tell that he was he was disappointed, but he was also just completely fearless in this moment because he saw that Izzy had nothing for him. Uh, was it a cool moment? Sure. I just wish that that Sean himself was able to land much within these moments to hurt Izzy, because those like that that right there would have solidified this as one of those iconic moments. I would say the performance itself is is one of those iconic performances, but this moment he didn't really do a lot in this. He was he was just kind of humiliating Izzy, which I love. So I'm going to put it in A tier personally. Uh, Conor McGregor doing whatever he wanted to Eddie Alvarez. Are we going to deny that this is an S tier moment? Are we going to deny it? Um, I mean, I'm going to deny it because he really th- this this moment here is just him putting his hands behind his back and um, really giving no respect to, to Eddie. I guess it would deserve to go up there at the end of the day. Uh, Nate Diaz flipping off Cerrone. He ends up winning this fight. So is there any denying that this moment is hilarious? No, pretty much any moment that that Nate Diaz flips somebody off is instantly iconic. I'm gonna put this one in B tier. Uh, the original Max Holloway point to the ground and slug it out with Ricardo Lamas. It's not his coolest moment, but I'm going to put it in A tier because this is the OG, right? This this is what started it all for Max Holloway. Matt Hughes, he survives a deep rear naked choke from Frank Trigg, turns the tables, and then picks up Frank Trigg, runs across the octagon with him, and slams him before beating him. This moment's iconic as shit. Especially for like OG MMA fans, this moment right here, whew, it was burned in, in a lot of our brains for a long time. So I'm going to put this one in A tier. Uh, Benil Dariush turning on like Terminator mode against Ricard Close. He's getting hurt and then turns the tables. Just casually walks forward with his hands down, KOs Ricard Close and walks off with such confidence. Wow, what a moment that is. Boom, you go up here. I'm going to move Khabib down here. Personally, I'm gonna move Khabib down here. Yeah, 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 because uh, he's Khabib. Michael Chandler. Now I do like the image of this. I love beaten to a pulp. Michael Chandler, all bloodied up and and you know spurring Justin Gaethje on and telling him, "Come here, give me, a, give me more of that shit." Num num num. I'll eat, I'll eat everything you got. And the fact that he didn't get knocked out in those moments makes this a lot cooler. But it's just stupid. Right, because he was getting beat up and it didn't really achieve a lot. So it's in the same vein as Kyle Bochniak versus a beat, but even stupider in all honesty, because you have Gaethje in front of you landing big shots. But because of how stupid it is, it almost makes it a cooler moment than it would have been otherwise. Mmm, man. Let's put it in C tier because he was standing in front of Justin Gaethje after getting beaten to a pulp. Max Holloway. Versus Dustin Poirier. Now this th- this is the one point to the ground moment that I'm not a I'm not as enthralled by because it's at the end of a fight that he's getting beat up in. So I guess that is cool the fact that he's getting beat up. So it's similar to the Michael Chandler moment, I suppose. And they do slug it out in the middle. N- no real shots of of note were landed within that that last moment though. I'll put it in B tier because it still is cool the fact that he he points to the ground and wants to throw down with somebody as dangerous as Dustin Poirier. Uh, the Showtime kick, great moment. I mean, arguably it deserves to be up here. Um, God knows we've seen some cringeworthy edits of Anthony Pettis jumping off the cage and kicking Benson Henderson in the face. So I think it should be up there personally. But he didn't actually knock him out. But it's still so badass, right? Like, like no one, no one's ever replicated it to that extent. We've seen Zabit try the Showtime kick, but we've never seen anybody really get get dropped like that by it and for it to be used as effectively. So I'm going to put this at the very tippy, tippy top. And Cody Garbrandt, this is the last one, by the way, Cody Garbrandt, back up against the fence, hands low, leans over, 
perfectly times the right hook, knocks a Sun Sao out cold, and of, of an iron chin as well. A Sun Sao, I don't know if he had ever been knocked out before this. So when you when you add that on top of it, it was it was Co- Cody Garbrandt coming off of those losses. It was it was pretty much a must win for Garbrandt. He looked great in the fight leading up to this point, and then for him to get that in, this, in, in the final second of the round, walk off. Okay, this this one, I feel like the rankings aren't important in this one. This really is just an excuse for me to talk about some of these amazing moments within the UFC. At the end of the day, they're all excellent moments, but some of them, of course, just have to be at the very, very top, and you guys understand why. Now, let me know in the comment section below if I miss any in- individual moments that you yourself feel uh, deserve to be represented on this list, and if you disagree with me, if you think I am um, a dumbass and a casual and I know nothing about this sport, then feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And I will be seeing you guys very soon in my next videos. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and have a good one.